Hello James, I want to show you how this uh, follow-up bus integration works. Uh, so here we have idxaddons.com. Uh, let's uh, look for the app follow-up bus. Uh, it's asking for API key, so API key we can acquire on follow-up bus. We have to go here. Uh, the admin tab and more API so here we can create API key let's click let's click this button well let's name it IDX addons test and click create API key okay we have an API key we can copy that from here and paste here. Click save. Okay, that's where for that where for the API key. An important thing: this option has to be enabled. Send IDX leads in info automatically; otherwise, it won't capture any leads, any properties. So it seems like we're all set with the API key and now let's install that to the IDX broker subheader. For this we have to navigate here webhook. Let's click webhook and here's the script we have to install into the subheader. Uh, for this we have to click validate. Uh, for now, I'm gonna install that to global subheader to details page to result page, future listings and well, maybe search, advanced search, basic search uh, well, that's pretty much it oh, well, let's set map search also yeah I think that's enough uh, for now let's go to IDX broker page here's the properties so uh, well for example I like this property so I want to like it and ask me to sign up so let's sign up Okay, seems like that was successful, it's going to redirect us back and see we have, uh, we have the light here that indicates that well everything is, I mean everything was successful and let's see how it reflects on a uh, 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 follow-up boss. So here we have the lead. John test boss I just uh, created the lead and we can see recent activity here saved property that property I just saved okay also it can capture the event when the client uh, views the property page so let's click view details here and let's see how it reflects here it says viewed property so it's working correctly also if we switch between properties let's click next property Washington Street 
So it's gonna appear here. Let's wait for a little bit. Yes, it's here. Viewed property, Washington Street. That's correct. Well, let's go back and see how saved search works. Let's create a new search. Basic search. Single family residential. Well, let's set the price. Okay, and click search. And here's the properties. Let's uh, click save search. It says we just saved the search and let's see how it reflects here. Yes, it says save search and follow up us. The prices I just said and the uh, property types I selected. So I think that's pretty much it about follow-up bus.